back up the ring. He doesn't see Brody behind him. Brody's got him. Oh, a foot right to the side of the face. I can tell you, Rich, they better move the fans back. Somebody's going to get hurt. This is where really Brody likes to operate out on the floor and move in that furniture and body. He's certainly big enough and strong oh. enough, so I just don't think he's getting the proper guidance through Gary Hart at times. Well, Gary's been managing now for some time. Well, Gary, Dad, I, I tell you how this all come about. He had the Purple A's, and they actually put the Purple A's into a mental hospital until the Prince of Darkness was kind enough to uh -huh. bring him back. All right. Oh, wrapped across the ropes, a giant forearm down across the chest for the Boston bad boy. Another one. Boy, that rang out across the auditorium. Referee calling for a clean break. Finally gets it after the bad boy hits the mat. He only likes to take his time and really punish an opponent, Rich, to see how he really gets excitement and he really enjoys it. What a drop kick from a man of over 300 pounds. He's big and agile and he's fit. He really is. Hurt all the way over here. Now he's tied into the rope. What's Brody going to do to him now? Pushes the referee out of the way. Whips off the rope. Oh, and a foot right to the face. He's got to wear a size 13 or 14 boot. He's getting ready now, Rich, to put this man right on that stretcher and right into an ambulance. It's a cinch the Boston bad boys had a lot taken out of him. Might be surprised if he can even get up off the mat. The fans love Brody. That should finish him off, King. Down a three from the referee. And that takes care of the Boston bad boy. If Gary Hart comes in to check the opponent. Wondering what the medics on the outside are going to do. Oh, 
I'd say that Brody, without a doubt, we've just seen Rich, how powerful he is and how dangerous he is with Gary Hart in this form. He really is. There's no question about it. But they can only go so far by the time they start fooling with the Prince of Darkness. It's a different episode. Look, look what he's got in combination. You've got Brody, you've got Gary Hart, you're talking about the Prince of Darkness. Look what he did to a guy that's almost 300 pounds. The Prince of Darkness has a divine light. He's seen the light. It's all mental when you go and transpire beyond reincarnation. Sometimes it's not all brute force that helps, though. In Brody's case, it's carried him a long way. That's a long way. And there's your official winner. We're going to be talking to Gary Hart and Bruiser Brody in just a moment as we look at the match here again in instant replay. King Curtis, your comment. I think they had ever... That driving foot in there, I tell you, the Boston Playboy has got to be tough to take two of those and still walk from that ring. No, he isn't. They're wheeling him out. They're wheeling him out. Gary Hart, we just saw the match. Your man, Bruiser Brody, Team Curtis back here, thinks that Brody, perhaps, is not getting the proper guidance that he should from you. Let me tell you something. You job of the look in the hood, dude. You were no good 15 years ago in Singapore, and you ain't no damn good now. The last time you sent that pint-sized messiah Kevin Sullivan after me, and Mark Lewin, the maniac, Bruiser Brody, was not beside him. So if you got any guts, you scumbag, you bring them up here now, and we'll clean the whole damn thing up, Texas style, real quick. <laughs> My money well. My mama told me there's a lot of low-life scum in the world. And you made her tell the biggest truth that ever came from her mouth. Well, there you have it. The manager, Playboy Gary Hart, Bruiser Brody. We've got more action coming your way, so don't go away.